From Wall Street to Main Street, this is LA Late. It's a big evening of evenings in LA with huge news tonight about your stocks, your bonds, your crypto, your economy, your recession, and yes, your fourth stimulus check today of 2022. In tonight's recording, we go over the breaking news as the U.S. economy goes into another dicey week ahead of us. We'll go over the latest details of what the projections are for this week, but the great news is that we as a community of the Purple Power community together are ready for it because we have gotten, we have gotten our applications in for a four stimulus check that are in every U.S. state. In this recording, if you're new to this channel, I'm going to show you over this one-hour broadcast, stay to the very end, how a four stimulus check has landed in every U.S. state and how the viewership of this channel, the membership have gotten it. These incredible big checks are available across the board, and they're not a little check, they're upwards of $80,000, which in view of the latest economic data that was released in the last few hours, suggests it's more than the savings accounts of American households, down 15% year to date. We have breaking news today about the Build Back Better Act, breaking news about student loan debt forgiveness. Then we have breaking news about other checks. Stay to the very end, a big surprise over this one hour special broadcast in prime time. Then we turn over to what's happening with wheat and grain and oil. Yes, if you thought they're high right now, expect even higher. What's going on? Then, back in February, this was the only place in the United States broadcasting media where I was recording that we're going in recession for two years. Tonight, more indication as well that my reporting back in February was accurate. New analysts tonight saying recession's coming, but what does that mean for a bear market? Well, the latest analysis in brand new data tonight and how it impacts your wallet. But let's start with the basics. The basics are a forced to check has landed in every U.S. state. And over this one hour broadcast, I'm going to show you not only the economic projections, the current state of the economy, but also how to get these for symbols checks in every U.S. state. Become a member, subscribe, and get ready for the most important broadcast you're going to see tonight in America. It's Evenings at a Light. Good evening. I hope you're having a beautiful night and welcome to a brand new broadcast from the shores of Santa Monica, California of Evenings LA for May 22nd, 2022. The latest developing details is the U.S. economy is going to recession for two years, as I have projected back in February. That recession will start next year, but the bear market is all upon us. Stocks down, crypto down, bonds surging, new home starts falling. The latest economic inflationary pressures are going to grow throughout this one hour broadcast in which I analyze why the numbers you're seeing in the markets, in the supermarkets, in the gas stations are expected to get even worse. That is why you need to get a four stimulus check that are in every U.S. state. So over this one hour broadcast, stay with me. I'm going to show you where we are, where this economy is going, and why it's so important to get this four stimulus check that is now in every U.S. state. It is not a $600 check. It is upwards of $80,000. It's for you. If you're single, if you're married, if you're on benefits, if you're not on benefits, if you have children, if you don't have children, you qualify. Step one, subscribe to this channel. The link's at the top of the video. Then step two, join this channel. Become a member and get the newsletter. The only one of its kind in American broadcast history today. It delivers you all the incredible money, all the incredible information, and all the incredible applications to get those four stimulus checks in every U.S. state. Stay with me, because I'm going to go over all that data in just a second. We start another dramatic week with the stocks, the bonds, the crypto, the U.S. economy not good. We ended last week with the U.S. consumer, you and I, not actually you and I, the other people who don't watch this channel, <laughs> waking up and realizing there's something wrong. Back in February, I told you there was something wrong with this economy. And at the time, it was just you and I. I said we're going to recession for two years starting in 2023. Millions of Americans were not feeling the hurt of this economy just yet, nor 
indicating or hearing words of recession, except for me. Tonight, every single report that's out there says recession, recession, recession. And this is why a new report released on Friday says 81% of Americans polled by a financial news channel say the U.S. economy is going to recession later this year. This is why consumer confidence and consumer sentiments has changed so dramatically. And this is why potentially a lot of movement on a lot of legislation in just a few hours in the White House. Number one, build back better act. And number two, student loan debt forgiveness. Yes, this is breaking news tonight, folks. Major movement on those forces. And the next one at issue, of course, would be the at SS300. We're going to go to that build back better act in a second, which is back on for negotiations. Those negotiations would give you checks on top of the four symbol checks that are in every U.S. state. Yes, Joseph Biden got you checks, and I'm going to get you them later in this recording. Those four symbols checks in every U.S. state are huge. They are check A, B, C, and D, as I affectionately call them on this channel. But the push of those congressional leaders now for Build Back Better Act would give you additional checks on top of that. Why do you need these checks? Because the U.S. economy is going down very quickly. The trajectory downward spiral of this U.S. economy is not just a bear market, but a bear market with a recession and potentially a bear market with stagflation, a word you don't hear many places. Stagflation involves both a recession and also increased inflation. Let's go over the latest details tonight. First, we have a lot more analysts who are very afraid of using the word recession now and saying versions of recession, maybe recession, recession light. <laughs> This is sort of like the peer pressure of the situation. They don't want to say recession, and now they have to say it in a certain version of it. Let me give you an example. Tonight, CEO Mansour El Mahoud, who is a Quatar Investment Authority's CEO, which is one of the largest, the ninth largest wealth funds in the, in the globe, has under, uh, under assets $450 billion, says the sell-off of the stock market is an all-bad scenario is what we're talking about. We're talking about recession, inflation, geopolitical issues, but we're less pessimistic of uh, the recovery from the pandemic. We're in a better shape for the banking industry, but I'm, saying we're, I'm not saying we're not going to have a recession. I'm thinking we may have a recession but it may be a light recession. <laughs> He's very light on his words. The latest details come as a very dramatic week is upon us for this U.S. economy. And that comes after a new poll released on Friday that 81% of Americans now believe we're going to recession later this year. Uh, excuse me? <laughs> Back in February, I was the only recorder and broadcast media in the United States, uh, in the United States, reporting that we're going to recession for two years starting in 2023. I was followed up by Deutsche Bank, the German bank in April, that said we're going to recession for two years. Then companies like Morgan Stanley and JP Morgan Chase saying maybe, possibly, potentially, but not emphatically saying it. The latest data tonight suggests that consumer confidence has dwindled plummeted overnight because they now believe that we're going to recession later this year. Yes, 81% of Americans polled by a financial channel where the viewer, of course, is a little bit more sophisticated because they watch financial news regularly, believe that we're going to recession later this year. What is a recession? And why is this brand new neat details tonight? A recession involves two consecutive quarters of negative GDP growth, gross national product. Do we have that just yet? Yeah, we are shrinking. We are supposed to be 7.1% in the month of April. We came in 6.9%. By all projections, we may already be at 4%, so we are shrinking. But are we going to have negative this quarter? We'll see. I project that we'll have negative GDP by the last quarter this year, and then potentially the quarter thereafter. That would be two. But when was the last time we had a recession like this? And let's compare this to bear market data. Bear market, stocks are down, crypto is down, bonds are up. And the implosion of the stock market is nothing like most people have seen of a generation. Many people of adult age have never seen an implosion of the stock market like this. But let's look at the historical data. The last time we had bear markets were 2020, covid 2008, the most pronounced recession that most adult Americans will last remember, and then 2000, which may be a little bit too far for some adult uh, individuals. Those were bear markets. Those are the last bear markets. Now, when we've had bear markets, the decline of stocks has been on average 21 
0.3%. When we had a bear market and a recession, the declines have been 48%. Where are we tonight? After eight consecutive weeks of the stock market down, it's only, it's only eight weeks, we're at 21%. So we're already in bear market territory, but we're not into that 48% realm. My projection, we're going to the 48% realm. We are going there. Yes, we are at the lows of 1920s now for this U.S. stock market. We've never seen a fall like this since the 1920s, but I'm saying we're not done. We're not done because we're going all the way down and continue to go down into the depths of later this year where it gets very, very bad. And this data is very important because guess what? The negotiations for the Build Back Better Act are back on, baby. The Build Back Better Act has two people negotiating it right now. And those negotiations seem to resume just as the stock market imploded. You know, they always say that congressional leaders do it because of their wallet. You know these congressional leaders have stocks. You know they own stocks. You know they own bonds. They're feeling the pinch. They're feeling the hurt. And they are feeling the wind, as I describe it, of the tsunami out to sea, the tornado out to sea, that recession coming on land later this year or next year. They feel the wind, and their stock portfolios, their, t their, their retirement funds are dramatically down. And that is why, in my opinion, the negotiations are resumed. Plus, we have the midterm elections. Plus, the Democrats are the party in control. Plus, everyone needs economic relief right now. And if the White House doesn't do anything, people will just say, what are you doing? The great news is the two negotiators at issue. They are huge. It is Chuck Schumer and Joe Manchin. Exactly the two people you want to see negotiate the Build Back Better Act. Why? In fact, let's use their own words. Number one, they both really adore each other. They have worked side by side, hand by hand, for many years. They know each other's likes and dislikes. Number two, they both say they want to get it done. They say the U.S. economy is struggling and then they need to get this money out to you right away. Number three, they both have a focus to get it done in a way that makes sense. This is huge. Now, let me give you my takeaway of the situation. These are two very blunt people. The Democrat from New York, the Democrat from West Virginia, they tell you what they think. They don't hold back, and I love it. These are two people, solely two people, negotiating the Build Back Better Act. Excluded is Bernie Sanders. Excluded, Liz Warren. Excluded, Joe Biden. These have only the moderate Democrats, two of them, in the negotiations and no progressives involved. So... What is my takeaway of the situation? Number one, they're hoping to get this vote by Memorial Day weekend. Do they think they can get it done? They think they can. Do I think they can? I got to tell you, it's really tight. It's really tight because they have to have the, the solidification of the negotiations done really quickly, then drafted, then called for a vote. It is really insanely tight. But I believe it will get done. Next, will Build Back Better Act give you additional checks on top of those four stimulus checks in every U.S. state? Absolutely. Absolutely. There is a lot, up to $80,000 of four stimulus checks, actually even more than $80,000 of four stimulus checks in every U.S. state. I'm getting those for you later in this recording. But Build Back Better Act would give you more checks. How much more? Well, this is what I'm preparing the viewership of this channel for. In my opinion, it's only my opinion. When Joe and Chuck are done with the Build Back Better Act negotiations of May 2022, it will not look like the Build Back Better Act of 2021. I believe it'll be dramatically different. Why? Well, let's go over what we know. Let's go over what they've told us over the last year. Joe Manchin has been emphatically clear what he loves and emphatically clear what he doesn't love. And that is where the casualties of the Build Back Better Act will, will lie. Let's go over the analysis together as a family because we know the answers. If we've been focusing and paying attention, there is fifteen dollars to $80,000 of forced stimulus checks in the Build Back Better Act. Let's see the, the fate of those 2021 provisions. The first add-on is $25,000 for the purchase of your first home. Would that survive? I believe it would. Joe Manchin understands that Americans are struggling. He understands that the mortgage rates are up from 3.5% to 5%. The housing starts are down. His, his people in his states are having problems affording new homes. I think he would keep that in there. That, of course, is that wonderful provision from Maxine Waters added as the first add-on to the Build Back Better Act. The second add-on, $250 billion of free home health care for seniors and people on disabilities who are on Medicare. Will that survive? Absolutely not. I think it's gone like, 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 um, it's, to it's, it's burnt like toast. 
Why? Because Joe Manchin has emphatically said that anything that touches Social Security, he is not going to support. He thinks that Social Security is broken and he doesn't want to put any more money to the system or to Medicare. Those are the two situations at issue. Let's go to the third add-on. Those MSC checks, $2,000 the first month, $1,000 thereafter, is something not added to the Build Back Better Act, but something they represent they would add in there. Would that survive? I think it would, but I think the amount may be different. It's a different year with a lot of different issues at hand. Let's go to those three clusters of checks and see which ones would survive Joe and Joe. Cluster number one, hazard pay. Yes, I believe that would survive. That is the extension of the earned income tax credit from 2020. Then the CTC, the children's checks, $3,600, I believe it would survive, but it's on the fence. That is a really tight one on that one. Then the $4,000 of elder care, yes, if it does not stem from Medicare. If it does, no. $4,000 of care for young children, yes. Then the $12,500 for the purchase of a new electric vehicle, yes, if it doesn't impair anything for, the envir for, for energy st circumstances. Of course, he is the chairman of the Energy Committee, Joe Manchin. Then home repairs, absolutely, I think, believe it will survive. Nutrition, of course. Let's go to that second cluster of checks. This is where it's a little bit more black and white. Home repairs has been removed and is now a stimulus check. It's coming up later in this video. I'm going to show you how to get that huge monster stimulus check. But what about the paid leave? Will it survive? No, it's going to go by the wayside. Joe Manchin last year said he will vote against anything that has paid leave in there. Nancy Pelosi took it out, then she put it back in. That's why it's in there right now. Will it survive? Absolutely not. He said he will not vote in favor of paid leave. Then let's go to that third cluster of checks where we see really big casualties. Free internet for all, checks, sure. Farmers, checks, yes. Independent contractors, checks, yes. But seniors, <laughs> everything for Bernie Sanders for seniors will die on the wayside. Dental, gone. Vision, gone. Hearing, gone. In my opinion, of course, it's not happened yet. This is just my projections. Why? Because this is all stemming from Medicare re reform, and Joe Manchin doesn't want to throw any more money to Medicare. He believes the system is broken. What about the Medicaid gap fix, which provides a workaround plan for uninsured people in 12 Republican holdout states? Yes. Joe Manchin actually came up with this with Raphael Warnock, so I believe that will survive. What about lowering the eligibility age of Medicare from 65 to 55? Absolutely not. That would put more people on Medicare. That's a system that Joe Manchin thinks is broken. No, it is not going to survive across the board. And that is the Build Back Better Act and its interpretation from me of what's going to survive and what's not going to survive. That is why later in this recording, it is so important for you to stay with me to go over these four stimulus checks that are in every U.S. state, because this is not something we have to guess about or predict or predict because these four symbols checks are in every U.S. state right now. You deserve them. You need to get them and you don't need to wait for them. And how do you do it? Step one, subscribe. Step two, become a member. It's coming up later in this recording. Now, let's go over to the other thing that pushes Build Back Better Act over the finish line. The toe chuck with that toe hitch. What gets over the finish line? Bad economic data, the midterm elections, and also the negotiations at issue. These two guys, Joe and Chuck, want to get it done. But let's look at why the recessionary pressures today are really at issue. And even for a person like Joe Manchin, the recessionary pressures are very, very teed up. And now millions of Americans understand there's something wrong with this economy. This is not February. In February, I said there's something wrong with this economy. We're going into two years of recession. No one else reporting at the time. And a lot of Americans really not feeling the hurt of this economy at the time. Then by March, when Putin invaded Ukraine, you started to feel the hurt of inflation. You really started to feel it in April, a lot more. By May, oh, a lot more. But what made it different this week, what made it different over the last seven weeks, is that every American, whether they're a mom and pop, whether they're retirees or young people, all understand when the stock market is down. It is a simple statement. The stock market crashed. The stock market crashed. Yeah, it crashed again. What's going on? Something's going on. That is why consumer confidence is dramatically down. That is why they need to get Build Back Better Act done. Now, let's go over why this implosion of the stock market may be done or may not be done. 
Uh, the comments are from Julian Emanuel, Head of Equity and Derivative and Quantitative, Quantitative Strategy at Evercore SI, SSI. He says, this is a process. This week, last week, was a scary one and breaking through last week's bottoms. These things take time. There's another stop in the bottoming process. We need to follow through this. You need to get a a, a slew of retailers reports coming out this coming week. The place that's under the largest microscope of investors. And that's where we saw the blowups this last week. I love that quote. He's absolutely right. That's why I've been recording. It's the retail investors, the retail uh, businesses, corporations, earnings reports that everyone is watching. It started with Amazon three weeks ago, then Walmart and Target last week, Kohl's and, and a raw stress for less later in the week. These are the numbers that everyone's looking at. Why? Because they show to us stuff you and I just don't know. We go into the store and we see the prices are higher. We don't know why. Now they're telling us why. I'll go over that in a second. Let's continue with Emmanuel's great quote. The whole thing comes down to whether there's going to be a recession. Last three bear markets, there was no recession. This is him. The decline was 21% and we're basically there. That's fascinating analysis. The last three bear markets of the stock market where stocks went down were 21% down and there was no recession. But we're already there. <laughs> is this easy for you and I to analyze? It is. I said we're going to go down, continue to go down to the end of the year. We're just in May. We're just getting started on this downward spiral. So absolutely, we're going to recession. So how far down will the stock market go? 41%. From the wet levels at which it was earlier this year. We're at 21% down the stock market. We're going down to 47.9%. That's the average of the last bear markets when there was a recession, 2000, 2008 and 2020. We're likely to shift gears on focusing on economic data. We'll get the e April read. Oh, this is our Hogan. This is our, he is brilliant. He's absolutely one of my favorites. Chief market and strategist in national securities. Everyone loves this guy. He's so smart. We're going to get the April read on home sales this week, which will likely be down, but it's not going to be as down as it was in April. Then we're going to get durable goods report late this week, and we're going to show some improvement as well. One thing that's been consistent is the data in the economic calendar has been better than the market reaction to it. I want to add to that. The economic data has been confusing to read, but it's the corporate earnings that's been very clear. Why? We started last week with the retail sales numbers out, and they looked, you know, they looked you know, flat, a little bit down, hard to read, really hard to read. And we had Amazon missing. Then we had Walmart saying, we shipped the goods and the goods did not come on time because of supply chain disruption. And when they showed up later, late, they were out of season. The weather had changed, the products did not move, they were out of fashion, and we had overstocked undesired merchandise. And we had too many retail, too many employees on the floor selling stuff that was not selling. Yeah, that was very emphatically clear. When we saw Ross Department stores uh, dress for less, which of course is clothing, it's not grills and barbecues, they had the same problem. They said the products came too late. By the time they arrived, they were overstocked, were products out of season, they had to slash them, and they had too many employees on the floor. This type of analysis is not anything you and I would ever know from retail sales numbers, CPI, PPI, inflationary numbers. Why? Because suddenly we've learned from the retailers, as Emmanuel said, the retailers are really giving us the microscope of where this economy is going. Why? Because the supply chain disruption is suddenly much more complicated than you and I ever knew. We thought the supply chain disruption is you can't get the products from the factory to you. We thought it's as simple as that. And we said, j Powell, with raising those interest rates to battle inflation, can't battle that situation. Now we realize that supply chain disruption is a little bit more complicated. How more complicated is it? It basically means that the products do come, but they come too late. And then you have the products overstocked. No one wants the products. They're out of season. The weather has changed. And suddenly, you have merchandise as a retailer. You can't sell. No one wants it. You have to discount it. You take a loss on the merchandise. And guess what? You have too many employees selling stuff that's not selling. This is why Hogan and Emmanuel are so brilliant in those two quotes. We got to really see those numbers coming out this week. And are you ready for them? Here we go. The numbers we're seeing this week, I'm going to tell you the, the trajectory of the reports this week and which ones I'm focusing on. On Monday, we have Zoom and we have some auto parts. I'm not really caring about that. We have two Fed governors. But let's look at that Tuesday numbers. 
Here we go. Tuesday, we have Nordstrom's, ding, 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 Best Buy, ding, 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 Ralph Lauren, which is a little bit higher up on market, uh, higher up on the food chain, Abercrombie and Fitch, um, those are big retailers. We want to see those numbers. We have some manufacturing numbers also on Tuesday coming before sunrise. Manufacturing P PMI and global services PMI, I'll have them live on air on mornings that Tuesday morning. We have JP. <laughs> there we go again. We have Jay Powell talking on Wednesday, Tuesday at 12 noon Eastern Standard Time. That's 9 a.m. What is he going to say? We're going to get inflation down to 2%. And, uh, and we're going to figure out how to get a talking cow to be a lobbyist. We've already done that. <clears throat> well, everything else he's going to say is not believable. <laughs> Wednesday comes uh, uh, NVIDIA and Dick Sporting Goods, and then comes Durable Goods, and there's Leo Brainerd. Uh, Leo Brainerd will be the ba ba backdrop to whatever craziness Jay Powell says on Tuesday. Uh, of course, Bra Brainerd is a Fed governor. Thursday, here we go. Thursday is going to be the bloodbath. Costco, Macy's, Burlington Stores. Um, we even have um, Ultra Beauty, and the one I'm going to watch is Dollar General and Dollar Tree. These are big ones. I'll tell you in a second why. And then Thursday, we have the jobless claims and we have the pending home sales. We also have new home sales on Tuesday. And then Friday, uh, we have um, a wholesale inventory and big lots. Ugh. Okay, so let me tell you why I'm woke watching for that Dollar General and Dollar Tree. This was teed up by Target this last week that said the consumer did not buy, and that is why Target stock took a hit. You thought the consumer did not buy because inflationary pressures. You thought that, you know, the inflation is up, consumer savings is down from an average of 77%, 77,000 last year, down 15% to 66,000. You thought it was just the inflation is hurting the consumer. No. The reason why the consumer didn't buy is because the products were wrong. Supply chain disruption. The wrong products at the wrong time because they came late. Here is where it gets scary. Here is where it gets scary. I understand, and you understand, that when you go into a big box retail that carries food, you're not going to pay $5 a gallon for milk. So will you pay $6 a gallon for milk? Of course not, Ally. Why are you even asking that? If you weren't going to pay $5 for a loaf of bread, are you going to pay $6 for a loaf of bread? Of course not. Well, is this a trick question? No. This is what's going on. A series of analysts now believe that based upon those earnings reports from those big box retailers last week, there's enough wording in those reports to suggest those big box retailers who took a bath, who took a major hit on the net profits from Q1 2022, are no longer going to absorb the cost of supply chain disruption. The shipping, the gasoline, the transportation costs, guess what they're going to do? The analysts believe they're going to shift those costs to you. They're going to have you pay for those costs, which they apparently have not done yet. And this could bring the price escalation, price inflation in the stores even higher. You think 8% is de de deafening? Get ready for potentially 12% if these reports are correct. Again, I am not co-signing these reports. I'm not quite sure if they're accurate or not accurate. But I do know that the big box retailers did have major supply chain disruption, and they took the hit for it. They absolutely took the hit. They did not pass those costs over to you. So can they continue to take the hit? No, of course not. So what are they going to do about it? I don't know. But is the, if this is accurate, this is very scary. Suddenly you can see inflationary numbers higher than we ever thought before. And this is why it's important to get a force stimulus check in every U.S. state. In the second half, we're going to go over these force stimulus checks that are in every U.S. state. You can't wait. You feel the wind? I feel it. It's the tsunami out to sea, the storm out to sea, the recession out to sea, and it's starting to get closer to land, and the wind is picking up. As that wind picks up, you need to get a force stimulus check in every U.S. state right now. You need to save that check, because guess what's going to happen in 90 days from now? The viewership of this channel is going to be through the roof, because there's going to be a stimulus stampede. Millions of Americans who are not able to afford these price escalations from May, March to May are suddenly by June going to say, wait a second, I can't take this anymore. LH, you got me a check? Do you have me a check? Wh who can get a check? 
That is why you need to get every check that is coming up later in this recording. And it's coming up in just 60 seconds. After the commercial break, we're going to go over these four stimulus checks that are in every U.S. state. It starts with a series of very basic steps. Step one, going to the top of the channel and subscribe. Step two, going under the video and becoming a member. Click the link where it says join the channel. Become a Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP. Then getting that membership newsletter Monday through Friday. The only newsletter in America specially written for me for you that found those four simple checks and has the applications in the membership newsletter to go get them. Upwards of 80000 Stay with me after the commercial break. We're going to go over all these incredible checks. Then we'll be turning to student loan debt forgiveness. Breaking news tonight about the more offers of student loan debt to be forgiven this coming week what happened oh boy it's big then we'll be turning back to the economic data ss300 the raising up of your benefits those data and more it's a big night get ready for those checks become a member during the commercial break and i'll be back with you in 60 seconds as america's most watched show for financial news in prime time continues first here's the members community page if you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And the excitement continues right now, now from Santa Monica, California, on Evenings Allied, America's most watched show for financial news in prime time for May 22nd, 2022. The latest details tonight is that the economy is imploding very quickly and the pressure of this downturning economy is being felt by more millions of more Americans every single day. That is why you need to get every check that's available right today because a stimulus stampede will be coming and that stimulus stampede will dilute wash out all the existing stimulus in months from now you can't wait and you start by subscribing to this channel then you become a member the membership link is under the video purple hawk purple power calcino vip and then getting that membership newsletter that features all these incredible checks and with that let's go over these big checks tonight by starting first with understanding where they came from in March of this year, you and I were watching the negotiations of the Build Back Better Act as a team, and we understood it was not getting done. And I immediately realized, I got to get you more checks. That's what I do. That's what I've been doing since day one. On April 25th, 2020, this channel launched. And since then, I've gotten viewers over $50 million. Immediately, when the pandemic hit and you lost your jobs, you were worried you are going to lose your business, I stepped forward and helped you get that EIDL grant, EIDL loan, PPP, PUA, and eventually LWA. It took an effort, and you got it then. What happened in December 2020 was the negotiations for the second stimulus package continued to unravel between Nancy Pelosi and Steve Mnuchin. I stepped forward and showed you, here's some checks you can get for rent and utilities. It eventually became our check C on this channel. But in March of this year, just a few weeks ago, we watched as the Build Back Better Act was not getting done, and I looked high and low to find you some stimulus checks. I found them. They're done by executive order by Joseph Biden. They're not by Congress. They're by executive order. And to find a stimulus check in this environment is an R form. And when it comes to the R form, 
I'm the Picasso of this art form. I've been able to find you at Check A, a Check B, and Checks C, as I affectionately call them, on this channel. And I'm going to go over how you can get them starting right now. This is not five weeks now, not five months now. It's right now. And it's for you. Who is the you? You. If you're single, if you're married, if you have children, if you don't have children, if you're on SSI, SSDI, veterans, or you're not, if you're young, if you're old, if you're on the West Coast, if you're on the East Coast, it's all for you. If you rent, if you own, and if you are ready to pounce with your cell phone, then you are ready to get these incredible checks. We're going to start with the first check tonight, and that first check tonight is a check A. These checks are not small checks. These are monster-sized checks because I don't play games here. I'm not here to get you a $200 check. $200 ain't going to cut it. It ain't going to pay for anything. It's going to be used up in a few days. I go for monster checks. That is what we start with tonight with the first check for stimulus check I call check A. It's a $6,500 to $12,000 fourth stimulus check. Single individual, $75,000 or less, go get it. Married couple, $150,000 or less, annual income, go get it. If you're on benefits, go get it. It's called the homeowner's grant check. And how do you get that incredible check? You do the following steps. Step one, subscribe to this channel. Step two, go into the membership, become a member. The membership link's at the top of the channel under the video. Join this channel. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Calcino VIP membership. Then go into that newsletter, delivered Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time via the YouTube alert system. And how do you get that check A? You go right into that membership newsletter and go right down. There it is, check A. You apply. You click the link. It sends you right into the website. You choose your state. You choose homeowners, weatherizing grant, and you apply, and you are done. How simple is that? These membership newsletters are written by me directly for you. I author them, in, author them in a simple, concise way for you to get the money fast. Check B. It's a fifteen to eighty thousand dollars for stimulus check, and you're going to go get it next. Look at this astronomical amount of money: eighty thousand dollars stimulus check. When was the last time you got an eighty thousand dollars stimulus check? That is eighty thousand. That is not eighty dollars. That is not eight thousand. It is eighty thousand. Yes, that new report that came out on Friday said that consumer savings was $75,000 last year. It is down 15%. So this check is more than the average savings of the U.S. consumer, now at less than $66,000. How do you get this for stimulus check? Check B, similar to check A. It is the homeowner's grant check. And how do you get it? You go and subscribe to this channel. Then you become a member, Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Calcino VIP. Then go down that membership newsletter to check B. It's right under check A, and you click the link, you go apply. How simple is that? I put it all for you. All you have to do is just apply and go get the money. You're not done there yet, because get ready for checks C. Yes, this is several checks. Yes, there's a lot of checks in check C. The totality is called check C. And yes, this is for my renters. Renters and homeowners. It's an MSC on average, $2,000 over 12 months, but many viewers have gotten up over $150,000. How do you get that check C? So simple. It's a little bit different, but still even simpler. How do you do it? Subscribe, become a member, and then go down that membership newsletter to check C. At check C, you're going to see who you're supposed to call. In the case of check C, you're not applying online. You are making phone calls. It tells you in the membership newsletter who to call, what to say, how to say it, and where to do it. It is rent, it is utilities, it is mortgage assistance, and it is more. And viewers of this channel have been getting massive sums of money from this since the earliest days of the pandemic. Yes, this is what we were talking about early in this video. In December 2020, millions of Americans watched as Nancy and Steve Mnuchin did not get it done. They needed money, so I found viewers $250,000. Not a lot of money at the time. But I had a preview of a piece of legislation. I coined the expression third stimulus. And when I saw it, I said, it's the same money. What I call the time purple then became third stimulus. And this is what happened when third stimulus became law. I told viewers you're going to get 15000 They got 45000 And that is what this check sees is. It's the residue, the leftover 
of third stimulus. It's a lot of money. Look at these sums of money, 20000 up to 27000 Viewers of this channel have gotten for rent from this check seize, formerly known as third stimulus or purple. Here's utilities, $15,000, Mark's brother-in-law, astronomical. How about SNAP, $25,000 a year over 10 years, a quarter million dollars to Mark's brother-in-law. Combos, here's Nisi, $23,000. The true spirit of the Purple Power community, what I record on every video, is keep on going back and getting money. That's what Nisi does. Nisi listens to the videos, and what does she do? She keeps on going back and getting money. $8,000 every few days. She has gotten about four more pots of money this year alone. This is a graphic from last year. So she's over $40,000. Here is Mark. In, December, in November of last year, $32,000. I said, Mark, I'll get more. He got fifty. dollars Then he got a hundred. Then he got check B, one sixty six. dollars Here's Lorraine. She was at one hundred five. dollars Now she's at one twenty. dollars That's what you do. Again, how do you do this? Step one, subscribe. Step two, become a member. The membership link at the top of the chat and in the pinned comment. Then get that incredible newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time via the YouTube alert system. Also, hit the bell. There's a bell at the front of this channel, so make sure your alerts are set to all on and get these big sums of money. If you have a question about the newsletter, you're a member and you're having problems locating something, send me a private message on Facebook and I will answer you and give you a, a how-to self-help video showing you all that you need to know about the newsletter as well. With that, let's go to that stimulus stampede. A stimulus stampede is going to come. It's absolutely going to come because in three months from now, this economy is going to be dramatically worse. You saw that quote from Emmanuel that says, the U.S. stock market is down 20%. Imagine if it's down 40%. Yeah, that's totally different than 20%. Seven consecutive day, weeks down the stock market. And you may not own stocks, but you may be impacted by stocks. What do we learn from those corporations this last week? Too many employees on the floor. Yeah, they're going to start laying people off. Imagine they're going to start laying people off that have jobs. Imagine the price of the goods, like the wheat and the grain, is going to go higher than where it is right now, as j Powell thinks is going to get down. And then imagine, you ready for this one? The price of gasoline can go even higher, a lot higher. The price of gasoline in the United States has covered much higher in recent days. If you watch in the membership newsletter, it's in there. It went from 414 nationwide average AAA in the last, uh, about a week ago, to 450. But as it moved, the price of international Brent crude did not move. What's going on? Here's what's going to make this worse. China is on lockdown because that sub-variant of Omicron, if they come off of lockdown in early June, which is expected, they're going to be driving their cars. They're one of the biggest consumers of gasoline internationally, and they start driving their cars, get ready for the shortage to increase and the price to go up. 120 a barrel internationally, Brent crude is what I'm projecting. And what does that mean for gasoline at the pump? Not 450 average. Yeah, 550 average. In Los Angeles, it's 630 for just a simple gallon of gas at a basic unleaded gasoline station. Jump in the live chat and tell me what you are paying for tonight. Amidst all this, amidst the rising prices of gasoline, prices of bread, the inflationary pressures, the recessionary pressures, Joe Biden has two opportunities to solve these things, or at least not solve them, ease their pressure upon you. And he hasn't done either of them. But new indications tonight, and this is breaking news, that he's going to do one of them this week. Which one is it? Student loan debt forgiveness. Then let me give you a personal insight. In reporting the news, I, I do a lot of research, and every single day I see which story is new. And also in seeing the story, I also see which story is trending. And student loan debt forgiveness has been front page news every single day for three weeks. There's somewhere in the news media that they love to report on the story, and viewers love to hear about it. And apparently, Biden's taking note. This is obviously an item that I said that Biden was tolling for the midterm elections because he's going to do it. He's absolutely forgive more student loan debts. He's holding for the midterm elections? Not anymore. A new report by education expert Mark Krantowitz, who I featured before on this channel, he's brilliant, says that Biden is meeting this coming week with policymakers who are advocating for student loan debt forgiveness, and an announcement may be imminent. In all likelihood, student loan debt forgiveness will be limited in eligibility and amount, so you can't erase all your student loan debt, said Kowalski. What's going to happen? 
I believe that this is the $10,000 announcement. Most people believe that the president is going to announce $10,000 as student loan debt forgiveness. I said he was holding for the midterm elections. I think he can't hold it any longer. And he has to make that announcement by December. Why wait to September? Make the announcement now and have a victory lap on it. He has forgiven student loan debts for individuals who became disabled after graduation, work in the nonprofit or public sector, and then for individuals who then uh, were defrauded by the university, whose debts were procured by fraud. He put debts that are in default into good standing, and then he rolled everyone's debts over from May to September, so there's currently a moratorium. But he also said he's not doing $50,000. The statement when he said, I'm not doing $50,000, was really uh, not his character. It, he looked very angry. He looked very angry, like he's sick of hearing the question. way you deal with a question you don't want to hear anymore is just get it done and move on to the next issue. If you don't want to do 50000 you want to do you know $1. Just do the $1 and move on. The fact that this story has sat around for a year and a half is not good for him. I think it's really imploding his likability because everyone knows he's going to do it just get it done and move on to the next issue. So I think it's going to be $10,000. The other item that he needs to do right away, and he hasn't done it, of course, is that big uh, SS300. Joseph Biden needs to make that phone call to the Social Security Administration head and swamp your cola for inflation. And if he did that, boy, would that help a lot of people. Whether it's Jeff Bezos, where it's myself, where it's Elon Musk, where it's Joe Biden, where it's whether it's um, Jay Powell, they all say, that when there's inflation and the price of goods go up, the people hurt the most are low-income producers, low-income households, and families on benefits, SSI, SSDI, veterans, benefits. The way you do this is swap COLA for inflation. And I'm not making this up. This is a simple element that was part of Joe Biden's presidential platform at JoeBiden.com. How does this work? If you swap that COLA for inflation tonight, you'd lock in 8%. Your benefits will go up $200 more per month. Where's inflation tracking later this year? Well, Jay Powell's speaking on Wednesday. You know what Jay Powell's going to say on Wednesday? We get inflation down to zero. <laughs> we get down inflation to, you know, give you some money back. <laughs> we get inflation down to pigs fly and, you know. No, um, Jay Powell's going to say it's going to get down to 2%. It's not completely believable. He keeps on running that same script until it's just, you know, on reruns. Uh, it's getting down to 4%. That would be another $100 on top of your existing benefits. But... <laughs> If some of those analysts on Wall Street are right, then inflation is not coming down at all. It is actually going higher than if inflation tracks at 8% uh, later this year, still at 8%. That would be SS400. That would mean another $200 this later this year on top of another $200 this month. That's how it works. Joe, make the call. Hashtag Joe, make the call. Tag the president. Hashtag LA. Hashtag Purple Power. Hashtag Joe, make the call on Twitter, on Facebook, and share this video. Tell him, what are you doing, Joe? This is ridiculous. It does not revolve, need an act of Congress, does not need a Democrat, does not need a Republican. It's not your money, it's the Social Security Administration head's money. And if Joe, Joe Manchin does not want to spend any more money on Social Security, does not want to touch Medicare, great. That's what his position is. Joe Biden, you go do your position, which does not need anyone to validate it. And this is a big win. Imagine how many Americans who are on benefits would feel much better with $200 more per month in their wallet. That's why you go do it. And that's why it's so important across the board to understand the data as we go into a new week with a tumultuous weeks behind us. The latest data tonight is that the U.S. economy is already in bear market. Bear market means the stocks are down 20%. We're already down 20%. It's been seven weeks of it. Could the stocks go much lower? Absolutely, they're going to go lower. This is just May, number two. Jay Powell goes in that June FOMC meeting with a half basis point on the table, likely. He's not giving his guidance, but I expect the guidance perhaps to come from his speech this week. How many more June, how many more half basis point increases? Well, <laughs> until he sends you to a recession. Yeah, I think that's sort of the blunt answer. Jay Powell, in a quote a week ago, said he's going to continue to hit inflation really hard until it comes down. He's going to hit it and hit it and hit it, and it's not going to crack. It's going to stay high, and he's going to continue to raise interest rates, and what does this mean for you? Get ready for the bad news. If you have anything based upon a flexible rate, get rid of it right away, because those flexible rates are going to kill you. Credit card debt, get rid of it. Uh, car loans, get rid of them. Anything that is based upon a flexible rate mortgage, a flexible rate 
get rid of it. And guess who else is impacted by this as well? Housing. The housing starts number is going to come out this week. And what did we learn last week? The data is delayed 60 days out. In fact, almost 90 days out. We see in May housing data for April. But that April data for housing is for people who went into contract to sell homes in February. It's a 60-day escrow. It's a 90-day escrow. We all know that. It's two to three months. Well, in February, we didn't have these problems. In February, we had a 3.5% mortgage rate that we've had for two years. In May, we have a 5.5% mortgage rate. No one's buying homes with a 5% mortgage rate. In February, the, the, the real estate brokers were saying everyone is making cash offers. Sure, they can make cash offers in this environment. Let me explain to you how data is confusing if not explained correctly. It was just a few days ago that we got the data in for the housing, and it showed that the housing starts were up, showed some housing was up. The, the, the number of days on the market to sell a house was very short, seven days, 17 days, very quick, great news. And we had all these real estate brokers saying what you expect them to say. Uh, the homes are all selling as cash offers. We have a lot of buyers with an all cash offer, and the average sale of a condo in New York is $3 million all cash. Guess when that doesn't work? When they can't come up with the cash. Why can't they come up with the cash? Because they don't actually have the cash in the bank. That's what the these people are not telling you. They have the cash because they're selling something else. You see a condo you want to go buy, and you want to put an all-cash offer in. Do you happen to have the cash sitting around? No, you sell the stocks. You sell another real estate holding. You sell a car. You sell something that has high valuations in a high-flying market. When the market's down 20% in seven weeks, it doesn't have that high valuation. And you don't want to sell your Tesla shares when they're down $600 to $600 when they were $1,200. You don't want to sell your Walmart, Walmart stock or your Apple stock when it's down into the 100 130 when it was up to 300 or something sky high before. This is going to implode things. And that is why bad data or confusing data really needs to be explained. And for every person who says everything is wonderful and posy dozy, then get ready for the tsunami. Remember, most people of adult age did not go through the last major recession. Most people of adult age have never seen a stagflation, which no one is talking about just yet. That is the combo of inflation plus recession. Jay Powell says he's getting rid of inflation. No, he's not. If inflation is still here and we have recession, then what does that mean? It's stagflation. And if no one of adult age has seen certain items, guess what happens? They record a video. <laughs> they record a video. They never saw this before. And they think everything is always going to come back. These horrible expressions bred during the pandemic like buy the dip or the dip or doge to a dollar or doge to two dollars or, you know, crypto to 100,000, uh, as, as Scaramucci said, you know, in, in, in mid-2022. These are the people who have assets tied up in things that are going down in value. If you have assets that are now going down in value, what do you do? Initially, you're not going to sell them because you don't want to take a loss. But eventually, you're going to have to sell things that are down. And when you sell things that are down, you're not going to be happy. Will you be going out to buy $3 million of condos in New York with assets that are devalued that you had to clear up to get some cash? No, of course not. And this is where the data is changing dramatically. This is why Jay Powell, with his pushing interest rates higher, is misguided. But what does this mean for you? It means for you the following. The hurt. The hurt of this economy is not here just yet. In the real form, it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt really badly by September. In about three months from now, at least, it's going to hurt really badly. And those of Americans are going to be a much worse financial circumstance then. And what are they going to do? They're going to ask for some FPUC. Alan, I just got laid off my job. You got some of that FPUC from 2020? No, they don't have that FPUC anymore. It, just, it discontinued. What, what about PUA? I got laid off as a uh, independent contract. You got that PUA from 2020? No, it doesn't exist anymore. It's, it's been discontinued. What about, L no, LWA gone, EIDL gone, EIDL grant gone. All these things gone. Time to catch up really quickly. The way you catch up is getting the money that's available right today, and you qualify for it. 
And the great news is that you are not September, you are May 2022. You are watching this video today. You are with me ahead of the ball game. I've been telling you this problem since February. I've been saying we're going to recession later this next, in, in, in 2023. I've been telling you to grab the cash on the table, don't wait, and you have. You're not the person I'm worried about. I'm worried about the people coming in September. And that stimulus stampede will grab every last remaining check that's on the supermarket shelf or in this video. And that is why, if you're watching tonight, you absolutely cannot wait to pounce. Step one, subscribe. Step two, become a member. Step three, hit that alarm button on the front of this channel, bell, to, and put it to all notifications. Step three, four, Go right into that membership newsletter and apply for those four stimulus checks in every U.S. state. Get that check A, B, C, and yes, told you to stay at the very end, a check D. In some U.S. states, there is a check D. I will be updating that check D later this coming week to see if there's more states. It was 24 states. I believe it's going to grow to 40 states. Many of the states, it is just automatic. Many of the states, you don't have to do anything of it. And many of the states, it's $2,000. What's happening in your state? <laughs> it's all in the membership newsletter. Go right into the membership newsletter and go right down to check D. And I have the incredible list across the board. It's going to be a tumultuous week next week, but the great news is that you and I are a community. You and I are a family. You and I know how to pounce, and if you've had a success story, post it in the live chat right now from check A, B, or C, or D, and send it to me on Facebook, and I will feature it live on air. Shows continue throughout the night. We have evenings out late at 6 o'clock, actually 5 o'clock, evenings countdown at 6 o'clock, stream cinemas at 7, extra at 8 o'clock, sunset at 9 o'clock. But what's important for you to know is you need to watch every single video throughout the day. There's too many videos happening throughout the day and too much breaking news. So the content is not overlapping. You will not necessarily see the same content on afternoons as you see on evenings because there's so much breaking news that impacts your wallet. Join me every morning at Early Mornings LA at 4 a.m. It's preempted. It's, it's led in by sunrise at 3 and 3.30, then Early Mornings at 4 Countdown at 7 a.m., mornings live on air at 9, and then noontime at 11, followed by afternoons at 1 and afternoons at 3. And from the shores of Santa Monica, California, good evening. God bless. Stay informed, stay focused. Get this big sums of money. You deserve it. You're going to be on top of it. As this economy goes up, as this economy goes down, we together as a family are ready for it. We will conquer it as one community. Stay informed, stay focused, and stay with Ally for more.